Today, we create a Cypher PK style camera border. Hey guys, what's up with Bravity and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today's video is all about camera borders and more specifically, we are going to be recreating a Cypher PK style camera border. This one has been requested like crazy down in the comments and on my Discord. Once again, if you guys didn't know, I have a Discord where you can suggest video ideas. Link is in the description of every single video, but it's been requested like crazy. And the reason why people are requesting Cypher PK's camera border is uh, because it's a little unique. You guys are familiar with camera borders everyone usually has one and they just kind of go around the outside of your footage there's a bunch of different styles but cyphers is a little bit different because it's inside of his camera it's not around the outside of the webcam it's on the inside it's kind of a line that goes around the inside and i thought that was a really interesting idea and apparently you guys like it as well because you've been asking me to show how to create that so that is what we're going to be doing today but before we get into it i just wanted to say that i do try to stream every tuesday and sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravity m so make sure you're jumping over there and dropping a follow and maybe catch a live stream if you're interested but without further ado let's jump in and recreate cypher pk style camera borders all right guys so here we are inside of after effects it is a completely blank and brand new project haven't even created a composition all i've done is just import the fake logo you can import your own logo obviously you don't want to use a fake logo but we're just going to go ahead and create a new composition 1920 by 1080 60p is just fine so we're going to hit okay and what we're going to do is we're going to head up to our shape layer here normally when we're creating stuff we start by making solids this time we're going to create a shape layer and we're just going to draw something that kind of matches the size of our uh our composition here because our composition 1920 by 1080 is the size usually that you're gonna be shooting with your camera your webcam so we're just gonna make a camera border that fits inside of this whole composition just kind of like that I think that looks pretty good and then we can use our align tools down here to just kind of center it up in the center of the composition if you don't see align tools you can go up to a window and you can turn them on right here but there we go we've got our shape layer now yours might look a little bit different than mine because yours probably has a solid fill inside so what you can do is you can click on the shape layer and you can go up here where it says fill and instead of clicking on here to set a color just click on the word fill and then you can set this uh, white box with the line through it, the red line through it. That means no fill. You can just click on that, then hit OK. So that means it's going to be completely transparent. And then you just want to add a colored stroke. Let's just do white for now. And you can set it to whatever you want. I think 8 looks really good. And there we go. We've got this line on a transparent background. Let me go ahead and toggle transparency. And as you can see, we've got it there. You can barely see it because it's on... Uh, it's on white, but we're going to go ahead and turn this back to black. So now it's time to add a little bit of animation to this so it's not just like a solid rectangle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate our shape layer down here. And the way we do that is just by hitting Command or Control D. And then we're going to come over here to our effects and we're going to type in Fill. And the reason I'm doing that is just so that we can have a different color to mess around with. So let's say we want to do like a, a blue like that. I think that looks kind of cool. So now we've got a blue one on top of our white one. And we can toggle it just like that. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the animation. So we're going to go ahead and hit the drop down on the blue rectangle. We're going to drop down into contents, and then we're going to go over here to this add button, this little triangle. We're going to hit add trim path. So we're going to add trim path because trim path is going to allow us to move the actual rectangle around and make it come on and come off of the screen. So we're going to go ahead and drop down the trim paths um, option right here. And then you can see we've got start end and offset. And we start messing with these, you'll see that it kind of draws on the rectangle and we can have it draw on from anywhere inside of this rectangle by messing around with the offset down there. So if we go ahead and mess with the offset and bring it all the way down here so that this one on the right is just kind of right in the middle like that, we can then have this start come in like this and then we can have the end come in from this direction like that. So now we just need to keyframe this. So we're going to bring this end value to where it's up at the top, kind of in the middle, like uh, let's bring it to like 50 like that so that's kind of halfway and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the start we'll bring the start all the way up you can just put 50 as well and then you just want to hit start and end keyframes right here so these are the little stopwatches next to it that's how you start the keyframes and then we can go ahead and move forward maybe like 50 frames like that maybe yeah right around 50 that's fine boom and then we can just go ahead and move these all the way down like this so the start goes down like that to zero and then the end is going to actually go to 100 so then we get a little bit of an animation that looks like this so as you can see the blue now draws on to the white rectangle and then what we can do is we can go ahead and duplicate this one that we just added the animation to and then we want to take the fill effect off of that one so now we have a white one on top of the blue one and that is pretty much it to add a really cool animation because all we need to do then is just offset our timings here so if we offset the timings just a little bit like that and we play it 
you get this really cool animation of this like blue line going around. You can go ahead and offset it a little bit more so that the blue stays on a little bit longer. I think that looks really awesome. So as you can see, that is a really cool effect right there. And that is all you need to do to create a really cool animated webcam inside of your camera. So it's a webcam board that sits on the inside, which I think is a really cool idea. And you can see we still got this on the transparent background. So all we need to do now is just kind of zoom out and we'll go ahead and go like 500 frames maybe and add an end point. So let's see how often that loops. So it came around just like that. And then we wait a while, boo, 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 boo. see if this is long enough. I think that's long enough and then it loops again just like that. Yeah, that's a really good uh, length for the loop right there. So now what we need to do is just export it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to composition, we're gonna go to add it to render queue, and then we're just gonna go down here where it says lossless in blue, change this from AVI to QuickTime, change the channels from RGB to RGB plus alpha, and then hit okay. And then right here where it says comp one output two, you can click on that, name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and then you put it inside of OBS. And I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick actually. So here we are inside of OBS and the way you just want to add it is obviously go down to this plus button in your sources and then go up to media source and then you can call it whatever you want. Hit OK and then in the file here you just want to hit browse and you just want to add in your webcam border just like that. You'll want to select loop since we have an animation. You don't just want it to shut off after it's done. You want it to loop and play again. So make sure you select loop there and then just hit OK and there we go. We have got an awesome webcam border here and if I put it over myself like this you can see how it would work. You'll We'll go ahead and sit here and watch the loop happen real quick. I'm watching, I'm watching, and there it is. As you can see, this would sit inside of your webcam. Obviously, you probably wouldn't have it on a full screen situation like this. You'd have it down in the corner of your screen when you have yourself in the corner of your gameplay, but it is a really cool webcam border idea, and I think you guys would love it. I'm actually gonna include the file for this one that I just added inside of OBS in the description, so if you do not even have After Effects, you can take this and you can put it in your OBS, and I'm gonna show you something really cool. Inside of OBS, you can actually change the colors to your own channel colors by clicking on your media source that you just added, and you just want to go to filters you just want to right click go to filters and hit the plus down here in effects filters and add a color correction and then just hit ok and then you can mess with the hue shift and if you mess with the hue shift there and then we close it you'll see next time it does the animation you'll see the color will be entirely different it was that dark blue and there you go it's almost like a pinkish purple now so there's really cool ways to change the colors inside of obs you don't even need after effects so make sure you jump down and download the file in the description but that is pretty much it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed the cypher pk style webcam border and i hope you like me showing you actually how to create it instead of just providing a template like i usually do but once again i do try to stream every tuesday and sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravity so if you haven't already, please drop over there and drop a follow and maybe catch a live stream if you're interested. But I'll see you guys in the next video.